Hi ladies, this is Coach Brianna and Coach Tiffany. Today we're gonna break down how to push up and things to consider. Where should your hands be? Where should your feet be? What is your butt doing? Things you should be feeling. All right, without further ado, let's, let's break it. into it. All right. All right, Coach Bree is gonna take a push up position. Often times we'll call this a plank position. So first thing I like to point out, her shoulders and her wrists are in line here. And if you guys need to check out some um, wrist flexion ideas, tune in for our other video of where we show how to modify this. All right, so one thing I wanna point out, if I have this pole here and it's stuck on Coach Bree, and she's in this push-up position, notice that this pole is touching her rear, her middle back, and her head. So you wanna pretend that pole is always on you in this position from your knees or from your toes. So if she was to come up to her toes, she would hold that same pulled position in each contact. All right, so you can pick where your uh, knees or toes are. Now, one thing I wanna point out, when you have your knees or your toes, you wanna pick your uh, knees or toes about hip width stance. So you can take it narrow, that makes it harder, and you can take it wider, that makes it more stable. But about hip width is a good um, general uh, guideline for where they should be. Now, some people I will notice that when they have their knees on, when they're using their knees, they'll crisscross their legs and they'll put their feet up. There's nothing wrong with this. There isn't any hard facts on that, but I will say that more people are tending to drop their hips down and it can put a little strain in your low back. So I prefer to have my toes on the ground and my knees on the ground as well, about hip width. All right, now once Bree is gonna go down into push-up, and if, if it's better for you for understanding, you could think of bringing your chest all the way down. Her hands are still underneath her chest, and her hands, her elbows are about 45 degrees off of her chest. And as she comes down, she's keeping her core and her trunk nice and tight. It's like you're pinching your butt cheeks, and we aren't allowing any banana peels. Do you want to show them what a banana peel looks like, Bree? Yes. All right, so this is a banana peel where you forget to engage that core, your core and your glutes, and you look like a banana peel coming or a off the box. ground. Sometimes yeah, we sometimes we see this. We like to call this the chicken yes. or a box. So she's forgetting to bring her butt down. Well, it looks pretty, but it's not helping out your push. In class, you may hear us always say, ladies, bring your hips forward. Ladies, bring your hips forward. Yeah, so, so once we're here, go ahead, Steph, you could if, show it. Two, two cues that I'd like to say. Bringing your quads forward or your hips forward, or if you're still having a hard time getting that position, if you think about the tailbone, it's this bone right here. If you roll your tailbone to the ground, that'll help roll your hips forward. Now you're in this nice inclined position. I have my pole on Brie, and it's in those three points of contact. She's gonna bring her chest down, and as low as she can, and then she's gonna pull herself back up. All right, so where are your arms during all of this? Mm -hmm. Are they close to your chest? Are they far out? Are your arms, elbows flailing out? <laughs> so these are all different kinds of push-ups too, ladies. But for a standard push-up, you wanna be directly underneath your shoulders. So she's right in line with her shoulders, and that way she can bring her elbows close to her rib cage as she's coming up and pushing the floor away. You almost wanna think about your arms corkscrewing those muscles, even though they're not moving in that motion, but that's gonna help you get the most emphasis from the floor as she pushes away, and she'll even get a little extra from her scapular area. Mm -hmm. And what is her neck doing? Is her neck hanging down? Is it upright? Is she looking at the ceiling? You'll notice she has a nice neutral spine. And again, that's indicator of the pole too, because her pole would be connecting to her head, her mid-back, and her hips. Mm -hmm. Any other helpful tricks that you'd like to throw in there? Yes, a big thing too, sometimes I see, I'm just gonna show this as you can see my fingers, my oh, hands yes. are together, my fingers are together. So a big thing, blade. you want them wide for as much service area as possible so you get as much strength, as much energy to push off that ground. Yes. Okay, so definitely, definitely have those fingertips nice and wide. Yes. Yeah. Oh, should we show them a dead stop push-up? It's a good transition. Yeah, let's do that. Then if you're struggling in the push-up, a dead stop is always a good go-to. So the dead stop, you're gonna bring your chest all the way down the ground, slide those hands off. So this is gonna help you get those arms in the right position. And then you're gonna push the ground away from you and you could do this again from your toes or your knees remember nice tight core pinch those butt cheeks no banana peels and that was a, a beautiful push-up thank you High five. <laughs> the cool thing about push-ups ladies 
is it works every single muscle, not just every your upper single. body. You have to engage that core. You're using your legs too, so it's a nice full body exercise. And I can tell you that just through my four years here, I've seen so many ladies that have come to us and they're like, I can't do a push-up. And within a month or two, they're doing yes. push-ups. And they'll reflect back a year later like, I remember that one time I couldn't mm -hmm. do a push-up. Exactly. And it's just really cool to celebrate those little victories along the way. It just takes practice and these tips and tricks will help you perfect that push-up form. So anything else to add to it? I think that's it. All right, so with that keep on said, pushing on. Yes, keep practicing. Add these tips and tricks and you will perfect that push-up. So we will see you back on the Lady Shot Virtual Podcast. We'll see you later, ladies. Bye, ladies. Bye.